Hey guys and welcome to this brand new episode on Google Cloud. Today I'm going to show you how to create a file in the Google Cloud storage. To begin with, let's go ahead with the Chrome browser and you will see that I have already logged inside the Google Cloud console. Let's go ahead and first open up the Google Cloud storage browser. So I'll just click this hamburger icon. Inside that you will find a lot of options. Just go to the storage and then select the browser option. This will open up the Google Cloud Storage Explorer. Let's click on the bucket name. So in my case, the name of the bucket is Carbon Writer. And out here you will see that there is a folder called as images. So in this particular video, we are going to write a file to this particular location. All right, we have just seen how our Google Cloud Storage Browser looks like. We just have a simple folder called as images inside our bucket. And we are going to write a file to that same location. So you can see in my Eclipse, I have created a REST controller which has two instance variable. The very first instance variable is storage. Now this is a special class which is available from the Google Cloud SDK. If you're not sure about how to create an instance variable of this particular storage, I will recommend you to go through the video which we have seen earlier wherein we have created the Google credential JSON file as well as we created the Spring Boot property file which will point to that JSON file. All right, let's go ahead and create our very first method which will write a file. So I'm going to begin with the annotation request mapping which has a path as slash write file. And the next path is going to be the actual file name. Now this file name will be sourced from a location. And in my case, I have created a file called as one.txt. Now this is the file which you are going to read. So I'll just open this file into notepad plus plus you will see that it has some content i'm just going to close this we are going to write this content or this file to our google cloud switch i'll just switch back to eclipse the next line is nothing but the name of our java method and it has an argument which is actually accepting the file name which were declared earlier let's go ahead and create the very first variable inside this method the variable actually points out to the bucket as well as it accepts the relative path of the file which needs to be written to the bucket. In our case, we are just going to keep it as is. The next instance that we are supposed to create is the blob info. Now blob info is very helpful if you wish to set the access control list for your file. Blob info will help you to do that. In our case, we are not going to modify any setting. We are going to keep it very simple. So I'm just using the blob info dot new builder passing the instance of the blob ID that we have created earlier and we are just going to call the build method. Let's go ahead and use the Java 8 APIs in order to read the file. So I'm going to first passing an instance of the local file path. So if I'll just show you the application dot properties file, we have a file dot storage, which is pointing to a folder, which we have seen just now. And the instance of that, I'm just injecting it out here. So you are getting the resource instance which is defined within the spring framework and it has a very helpful method called as get file so whether it is a file which is stored in the class path or whether it is a file which is stored on your disk using this unified api you can simply call the get file and it will give you a file instance the next argument is the file name which we are going to read and finally we are supposed to read all the contents from this file so we are using the files dot read all bytes it is a very handy method which is available inside the Java 8. We are just reading that and using the paths.get API, we are accessing the original location of our file. Let me go ahead and create the file within our Google Cloud Storage using the storage instance variable that we defined earlier. This has a method called as create. It accepts two arguments. The very first argument is the blob info that we have built using the blob info.builder. And the second argument is the actual data that we're supposed to write. Note that this accepts a byte array. That's all required in order to create a file, but let's make it meaningful. So our method is actually going to return whatever contents that we are read from the file. So I created a message object inside this message object. I'm going to set the content and that content isn't going to be the byte data that we are read from the file. And we are going to simply return that message object. Remember this message object is a custom class that I created. Let me just open up that. You will see that it has nothing special, just a content variable and a getter setters with it. 
let's save our file writer controller and we are going to start our server so i'll just click this run spring gcp application let me just maximize the console window our spring boot application is just getting started everything looks great our spring boot application has been started let's go ahead and invoke the url of our rest controller so i have started the command prompt and i'm going to use curl in order to invoke our rest controller so i'll just type curl x and the name of the http method and the url note the url is localhost colon 8080 it's a local machine on which we have started our spring boot application followed by the name of or the path of our spring rest controller and the name of the file now if you just enter you will see that it will take some time and it will write the contents on the console but this is not what we are expecting we are actually expecting the file to be written on the google cloud storage so let me just refresh this bucket and we should be able to see our file yes it is showing the one.txt with the timestamp and it is also showing us the size so congratulations you just learned how to create a file on the google cloud storage we'll just wrap up our video out here and i'll see you soon in the next one till then take care and build something